yes, we're going up the field. It is such a nice morning. Oh, nice. Are you trying to poop up the hedge, up the fence? Look at this. Look at this view. Look at this sky. Uh, what are you doing up there? <laughs> what are you doing? Having a break? <laughs> it's not the best place to sit. I know you've got a nice view up there. What are you doing up there, though, Key? You could have just laid on the floor, you know? More room. Come on then. Should we carry on? Carefully up. Okay. Let's go. Thank you. I'm still not used to it. I'm very bad at vlogging. Toasty in here. So these are Kong, which is a variety that I discovered last year by accident. Last year I grew some Titan sunflowers and they were like giant, single giant head sunflowers. And they look really pretty, but I grew like, I don't know, I think it's about six plants and one of them ended up having multiple little heads like constantly new heads appearing and it looked amazing much better than the single head because the single head just got so big and so heavy that it just drooped the, so this multiple head one looked amazing but it must have been a rogue seed that it snuck into a different seed packet i wonder if i can stand you in the tomatoes and i loved it i absolutely ooh, absolutely loved this variety of sunflower um, and then when I went seed packet shopping I found it and it's called Kong so when they're packaging it up they must have accidentally got this other seed in it's the same manufacturer um, so that's what I've grown I haven't bothered with the Titan because it just didn't look as good it didn't last as long and as soon as the head reached that that size it was literally bigger than my head it was just too heavy for the stem and just drooped. So these ones should hopefully look really pretty with multiple little heads. And then these ones are called Sun King. They're little short ones. I can't remember if they're multiple head or if they're a different colour. <laughs> it's a variety that my mum picked out. I've got a watermelon. Only one of them grew. Some cucumbers. This is my pumpkin. The snails were targeting that particular plant, one plant in here, so I, my mum said suggested putting in a sling, so I did. Um, and this is tarragon, which is a plant that tastes like aniseed, and I love aniseed, and I never knew it existed. So, growing that, oh, getting too hot in here. Um, need a coat rack in here. <laughs> so, yeah, that's. And then down there is the sweet peas and then this is nigella these are many different varieties of tomato plants these are actually my excess the ones you're standing in i've got two trays of 24 each um, of the ones i'm actually growing so i've got that i'm actually going to keep and and put into pots these ones are to give away so i've given some to one of my sisters and i'll basically and, and some neighbors i'll offer them like, i'll put them out on the gatepost or something so that people walking past can have a tomato plant if they'd like to grow one. Um, I've got Roma which is a plum. I've got Alicante and Armand and Moneymaker and those are all just like normal sized tomatoes. I've got Rapunzel I think might be another plum. I know I've got a cherry in here somewhere and I know I've got plum and I know I've got normal size. And then I've got loads of onions and shallots, so like the bulb onions, which is a mixed variety of white, red, and brown. 
and then there's lots. And then I've got more nigella, and then what was this I planted the other day? Oh, the herbs. None of them have come out yet. But I've got, if you can hear me, or even see me, um, I've got basil, coriander, oregano, thyme, and then two others which didn't have labels. So I can't remember exactly what they are. Dill, um, and parsley. I remember because I was um, putting them in alphabetical order. So, yeah. And then sweet corns and some more cucumber. And then in this tray, here's all kale. None of that's come up yet. I need a better watering can because this one basically drenches them. It is so hot in here. I'm going to have to start opening the window, I think. So I've got a little, two little extra ones coming up in here. Sorry. <laughs> a bit tricky. Yeah, I've got, um, in these two Sun King, there's two little extra sunflowers coming up. I don't know how they snuck in there, but I've got two spare plants in the sides. Um, let's see these guys. I can't do these ones, can I? You'll have to stand on the peas. The peas are dying anyway. We went on holiday and peas grow really quickly and their roots fill the plugs really quickly and um, the, the tray just dried out while we were away and when I came back they were basically all dead. So I gave up on peas. I this one as tomatoes. Tomato plants. Okay. <laughs> this is just looks so bad. <laughs> where would be the best place to live? Ooh. Ooh. I'm joined by Oreo Duba and Sinetra Sarka. As we try to Tesco Mobile, we know everyone likes getting a little Right. For just twenty-two fifty a month with club card prices, Market Mobile. For switch, pop in store or search Tesco Mobile. Every little helps. The Beautiful Skin Foundation is back. Glow gliding. Shop now at Zero vision alarm. 